a little windy. Welcome everyone. My name's Muriel and on deck today we have Light and Easy plus Ab Lab. As the title says, no equipment needed, no jumping. This is great if you live in an apartment, maybe you have neighbors next door or below you, you don't want to make a lot of noise. Maybe someone's sleeping. You just never know. Maybe you just don't like jumping. So no jumping, no equipment. This is light and easy in Ab Lab. <clears throat> you might just want to have a nice sturdy pair of tennis shoes and some water nearby. Today's workout, the first little bit, we're going to be doing an EMOM, which stands for every minute on the minute. And then we'll do a few other fun little exercises. And the last bit, we will finish with Ab Lab, which is just 15 minutes of straight core greatness. Um, I have my window open so you might hear the wind kind of whistling around a little bit, but it's nice to get some fresh air every once in a while. So we'll give it about 60 more seconds. Again, if you're just tuning in, all you're going to need is nothing. No equipment, just a good attitude ready to work it out. I'm just gonna leave that open. Okay, sound good, sound like a plan. All right, perfect. Again, my name's Muriel, and let's get this show started. We're gonna start with a warm up. So, and my yoga mat is not with me, so I have carpet, so that'll do. All right, let's get started. Okay. Let's have feet about hip width apart. Take an inhale, arms up head. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, side bend to the left. And release those arms down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, side bend to the right. Back to the center and side bend to the left. And nice job. We're going to take it to some shoulder rolls right here. Again, nice big shoulder rolls. Exaggerate the movement. Take those shoulders up towards your ears, back and down for three and two. Last one, reverse the direction. Last one. Nice job. We're going to go into a little bit of a reverse lunge. Take your left foot, lunge it back, come down, and come up, feet meet together. Stay on your left side, lunge back. And come up, lunge back. Three more on this side. Here's two. And last one. We're gonna go into the other side. Again, this is just the warm up, slow and steady. Right side, lunge back. And up to meet your other foot. Again, stick with this, lunge back, and come up. Those feet meet at the top. Let's <clears throat> do four more on this side. Three, two, last one. Good. From here, take those feet about shoulder width apart. Come into a low squat, walk it out to a high plank. One push up right here and walk it back. Stand up. We're gonna do that two more times. Come down squat, walk it out high plank. One push up, walk it back. 
and up. One last time on this last one, stay down in your plank, squat, walk it out, push up, stay here, send those hips up and back, downward dog. Good, if you need to, pedal those feet out. Shift your weight forward, bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand, Left knee can stay lifted or you can drop it down. Let's see if we can get our right elbow as close as we can to our right ankle. Lift and twist into your right thigh. Look at those fingertips. Hand comes down to the outside of your right foot. Straighten both legs and lift those hips. <clears throat> Send your right foot back. Now left foot to the outside of your left hand. Right knee stays lifted or drop it down. Elbow to ankle. Lift and twist into your thigh. Hand to the outside of your left foot and straighten both legs. Right foot come to meet the other. Forward fold. Bend and straighten the knees here. Slowly roll up. Very nice. Okay, we are going to go on ahead and uh, get started. So, part is going to be an mom. So you're going to try to finish the set amount of reps in under 60 seconds, right? So I'm going to keep time because that's what I do. I'm going to keep time for you. First move, we have push-ups. Just a good old full body push-ups. And I'm going to give you a range of reps to do. So you can have a range of 10 to 15 reps. And the goal is to get these done in under 60 seconds, and you at least want to allow yourself 15 to 10 seconds rest in between. So we're going to get working, and I'm going to stop talking, okay? So we start with push-ups, and then we have five moves total, and we're going to repeat that three times for a total of 15 minutes. Yes? Come on down to your mat, and you're going to perform 10 to 15 push-ups in under 60 seconds. We go in three, two, and begin. Here we go. Push ups, lower your chest down, and lift. I'll let you know when we're halfway through, okay? So you don't want to have any more than 30 seconds rest, and you don't want to have any less than about 10 seconds of rest to transition. So, skew those reps as you need to because I know we're all at different levels. Halfway through, you're halfway through this 60 seconds. So, we're about 30 seconds in, you have 30 seconds left. So, maybe 15 push ups is not enough and you got those done under 30 seconds. Up your reps to 20, okay? We have 10 seconds left. We're going to stand it on up. Next move, I'm going to preview it to you. Okay, we have a reverse launch with an airplane. And here we go, begin. 10 to 15 reps, we stay on the right side. Reverse lunge, hinge at your hips, lunge, airplane, thumbs are up. Kind of a little bit of balance, right? So you're lunging, tilting forward, and back. A range of 10 to 15 on this side. You're halfway through. Okay, evaluate, see where you're at. Good, we have about 20 seconds left, and then we're next move, we do the same exact thing on the other side. 10 seconds, okay, you should have, you should be almost done with those reps by now. Three, two, let's move on right to the other side. So on this side, other leg, reverse lunge, 
airplane. Lunge back, airplane. Core's tight, lots of balance, and it's that stabilizing leg, that front leg, is where you're feeling it, and that, that's the leg that's doing all of the work. You're halfway through, 30 seconds left. It's fairly warmer here today, but that wind is just crazy. 15 seconds left, and then our next move, we have a squat. Reps stay the same. 10 seconds till we move on to minute three. Here's three, two, and begin this time 10 to 15 squats with an overhead raise and back down. Squat, lift those arms overhead, back down. 10 to 15. Maybe you need to take some reps off. Maybe you need to take some, add some on. It's up to you, okay? That overhead raise, we're getting some backside work. And it's also helping us kind of evaluate our squat form so we don't lean forward or tip forward as we lift those arms overhead and sink our hips down. 20 seconds left. One last move after this. After this, we have shoulder taps. Okay, 10 seconds. When you're done with those squats, come on down. Get ready for your shoulder taps. Here we go in three. Two and begin. Shoulder taps, and it's 10 to 15 each side. So if you're doing 10 reps each side, that's 20 total. Or if you're doing 15 each side, that's 30 total. Okay? Maybe you're at 12 reps, 24 total. Okay? Skew it so it works for you. We're halfway through, and then we are going to repeat these moves two more times. We're going to do this for two more rounds. Good. 20 seconds left. 15 each side. So alternate those shoulders. 10 seconds. Get ready for those push-ups. We go in three, two. Round two has begun. 10 to 15 push-ups right here. Hands right underneath your armpits. Chest lowers down towards the ground. Belly button's pulled in. Core is nice and tight. You're either on your knees or your toes. Or maybe an elevated surface or maybe the wall. Who knows? Find what works for you. Inhale as you lower. Exhale at the top. 30 seconds in. Good, we have 20 seconds left. Get those reps in, get those reps done. Remember, after this, we move on to that reverse lunge with an airplane. In 10, we go in 10 seconds. You need to shake up arms. Three, two, here we go. Right leg, reverse lunge, lift, plane. Foot comes down, lunge, airplane. So our core is really pulled in. That's helping us with our balance. Okay, we're not locking out that front leg as we lift our back leg. Both hips stay square, so that leg that's lifting off the ground is gonna wanna turn out, okay? We're gonna wanna work on keeping those hips square and we're working on balance, try not to fall over like I almost did. 10 to 15 on that one side. You have 20 seconds left. Okay, and then after for minute three, we move on to our other side. 10 seconds left here. So hopefully you're done with those reps or you're getting close, giving yourself enough time to transition. Three, two, Let's go to the other side. Here we go. Reverse lunge. 
airplane. Reverse lunge, airplane. You're trying to get these reps done in under 60 seconds. 10 to 15, give or take. Halfway. Oh, don't fall over. <laughs> Good. 20 seconds left. Squats with that overhead raise after this. <sighs> if you finish your reps and you have some rest time, stay moving. Catch your breath. March in place. Move around a little bit. Squats in three, two, and and begin. So feet are about shoulder width apart. Squat, overhead raise. Once you get to the bottom of your squat. <sighs> Inhale as you lower. <sighs> Exhale at the top. Maybe this is a little uncomfortable for your knees. Try turning the toes out slightly and see if that helps make your knees feel a little better. So the point of raising our arms overhead, halfway through by the way, is so we don't mess up our form and tip forward as we lift our arms overhead. Keep your chest lifted, back is flat, and come back up. <sighs> 10 seconds, shoulder taps after this. When you're Resting your time to grab water, walk around the room a little bit, shake it out. Here we go. That 10 seconds went by fast. Shoulder taps right here, 10 to 15 each side. We're trying not to rotate our hips. Belly button's pulled in, okay? If you're on your toes, you can take a wide stance or drop down to those knees if you need it. Halfway, you're 30 seconds in. Whew. All right, we got a little over 20 seconds left if you're still working. Finish out those reps, or if you need to, grab some water. <sighs> Refreshing. Okay, we got about 10 seconds before we move on to our last round. We go in five, three, Two, begin, we start from the top with those push-ups. Yes, 10 to 15 reps on those push-ups. <sighs> Remember, pull that belly button in. We wanna make sure that low back doesn't arch as we are in our plank position as we lower down to the ground. Halfway. Fifteen seconds left. Reverse lunge to airplane. In ten. All right, let's do it in three, two. Here we go. Reverse lunge, airplane those arms. Halfway. Fifteen seconds left. Who that one leg really has to work. Less than ten seconds, we go to the other side. In five, three, two. Begin. Reverse lunge. 
airplane. I need to move over so I don't run into my wall. Gaze is towards the ground, keeping ears and shoulders, hips all in line. Halfway. Fifteen seconds left. We squat after this. In five. Okay, we go in three, two, here. Squat, overhead raise, 10 to 15. Halfway, 30 seconds in. Fifteen seconds left. Almost there, we're coming up on that last move and then we move on. Okay, shoulder taps in five. This is it, three, two, here we go, shoulder taps, 10 to 15. Nice job. You got 30 seconds left. Good. Keep working. If you're done with your shoulder taps, grab some water and we'll move on to the next part of this workout. Nice job. You have 10 seconds left. Woo. Good. Three. Two and rest. All right, that was our EMOM section. Now this next part, um, she's gonna be kind of a little bit of a hit style. Okay, so we're gonna work for 45 seconds, rest 15 in between. So we're not going for reps now, we're just going for time. Our first move, we're gonna stand it on up and you're just gonna see how much space you have. Okay. Side movement. So we're going to do a lateral squat walk. So you're going to be nice and low. And we're just going to walk side to side. So I have about enough room. I'll go two each way. You ready? And then we'll move on. We'll do a few more exercises. I'm going to start our time. We start with our lateral squat walk for 45 seconds in three, two, and here we go. Get nice and low. Just try to keep it an even amount each direction. So I can actually go about three steps each way. Move this cat toy out of the way. Good. Chest stays lifted, core is tight, shoulders are back. So make sure we're not rounding forward, shoulders back, chest stays open. Walking side. To side. You'll notice that leading leg has to do a little bit more work than the other one. We got five seconds left. Three, two, and rest. Shake out those legs. Next move, we have quick outs. Okay, so there's no jumping, but it's going to be a quick moving move. All right, follow my lead. Here we go. Feet hip width apart. Walk it out. Drive your right knee in, left knee in. Walk it back, arms overhead. Repeat, walk it out. Right knee in, left knee in, walk it back. 
Arms reach overhead. Can you go a little faster? In, in, walk it back, out, walk it out, in, in, walk it back, and up. Getting those heart rates up. 15 seconds left. Come on. 10 seconds left. Here's five. Let's go. Three, two, 15 seconds rest. We come on down. Next move. I call this four corners. You're gonna lift left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. Hold your plank. Here we go. Left, right, leg, leg. Left, right, lift left, lift right. If you're doing this from your knees, okay? Lift your left arm, right arm, straighten your left leg, straighten your right leg, okay? You're on your knees. Left arm raise, right arm raise. Lift your left knee off the ground, toes stay down. Lift your right knee off the ground, toes stay down. 15 seconds left. Those shoulders and that core should be really feeling this. Three, two, rest, flip it on over. This next one, it's the one we all know, glute bridges. Look at that wind, okay? Glute bridges for 45 seconds in three, two, and begin, here we go. Feet are on the ground, knees point up, hands are in a low V. Lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, lower back down. Belly button stays pulled in towards your spine. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Okay, this exercise is really helping with your core and it's really helping build your glutes and it's a great lower body exercise. You should feel this in the whole backside of your legs and your hamstrings and your glutes. You have 10 seconds left. We're gonna stay on our backs for our very lateral. Keep working for five, three, two, and we're gonna go into dead bug next. Remember we still have about 15 seconds left in our rest. So dead bug, we extend opposite arm, opposite leg at the same time. We begin in three, two, and begin. So feet can be lifted off the ground or they can be on the ground. Low back stays in contact with your. Take your time on these. I say a good rule of thumb is about two counts down two counts up. Last five seconds, and then we're gonna start from the top. Three, two, nice job, rock and roll. Stand it on up. We start back with our lateral squat walk. We begin in five. Here we go on three, two, starting from the top, get nice and long. One side and then the other side. Resistance band nearby. If you have a loop resistance band, you want more resistance here, you can put that band over the middle of your thighs, create a little bit more resistance while you do this move, but not necessary, you don't need to. All right, can you sink those hips a little bit lower? Try to get them a little bit lower. 15 seconds left on this move. Keep it even, how many you go one direction, how many you go the other. All right, check in, roll those shoulders back, pull that belly button in. We go for five, you have three, two, and rest. Good, shake it out. Remember next we move to those quick outs. Kind of sounds like quick outs, but it's quick outs. Remember those, we go on five. Three, two, here we go. So we walk it out, drive one knee in, other knee in, walk it back, arms lift overhead. Do that again, but a little bit faster. Walk it out, knee drive, knee drive, get back, and up. Walk it out, 
knee drive, knee drive, walk it back, and up. Keep that core super engaged right here. Uh, come on, five seconds left. You can do it. Three, two, rest. We come on down. We got four corners. We're gonna be in a plank position in five. Three, two, here we go. So if you're on your knees, you lift one arm, then the other, then lift your knee, then the other knee. Or if you're on your toes, lift one arm, then the other, then lift your leg, then lift the other leg, and repeat. Left, right, left, Ooh, come on, 10 seconds. I know it burns. You got it. Glute bridges after this in five. And rest. Cool my shoulders. Flip it over. Flip it on over. Glute bridges. We go in five. You got it. Three, two, and begin. Give those shoulders a little break. Lift those hips. Shoulders stay on the mat, lower back down. Okay, we're pressing through those heels, squeezing your glutes. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, and rest. Next we go into our dead bugs. You can just stay right where you are at. Dead bug in five, three, two, and begin. We lower down, opposite arm, opposite leg. If you don't wanna have your feet on the ground or in the air, keep those feet on the ground. And extend opposite arm, opposite leg, other foot stays down. So, opposite arm, opposite leg, almost touch the ground, and then you come right back up. Anchoring down through your core. 15 seconds to go. Here's five. Three, two, and rest. All right, that's it for light and easy. We're gonna move on to ab lab. So if you're sticking around for ab lab or you're just logging on, welcome. This is ab lab. We're gonna be working our core for the next 15 minutes. So first move, okay, all these moves we're gonna do for about 15 reps and we're gonna to stick together Okay, very last move is timed, and I will keep our time for us. So, first move, we have, we're going to be on our back for all of them for this first round. Second round, we'll switch up our moves a little bit. Move number one, leg lifts, alternating, or do hold at the same time. So, let's come on down. Hands come underneath your hips, okay? Legs come up into the air. Your head stays resting on the mat or the ground. We're gonna lower our legs down at the same time or alternate. We begin in three, two, here we go. 15 reps, lower and lift. Lower and lift. Try to keep that low back in contact with the ground. Here's five. And 
10. We're going for 15, remember? After those 15, keep those feet up in the air. Last two. Last one. All right, legs stay up. Hands come overhead. 15 toe touches. Hands to toes in three, two, here we go. Reach for 15. Shoulder blades will lift off the mat. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Feet come down, 15 roll-ups, hands by your side on three, two. Here we go, roll all the way up, all the way back down for 15. Feet stay down on the ground as you roll up. So try not to let them lift as you lift your torso off the ground. Here's eight. Last five. Three. Two. Last one. Coming on down. We're going to go into some bicycle. Okay. Fifteen each side. We go in three. Two, here we go, opposite elbow, opposite knee. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Backs in contact with the ground. Eight, nine, 10, 30 second hollow body hold. It seems to be a theme of mine here recently. So 30 seconds, we're nice and long. Low back is in contact with your mat. So to get ourselves set up before I start our time, I want you to take a big inhale. Exhale all the way out. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Tuck those hips under. We're gonna lean on back and hold in three, two. Hold it right here. 30 seconds, so my feet are off the ground, shoulder blades are off the ground, it's just my low back and my hips that are on the ground, okay? That low back arch, come up, do what we just did, exhale all that air, tuck the hips under, and hold. 10 seconds left. For five, three, two, and rest. But wait, there's more. Okay. Flip it over onto your left side and we're gonna move on to our other series and then we'll stretch it out. So just a little bit more core that we're gonna do. Again, we're gonna go for reps. And then that last one, we're gonna hold for time. So we have 15 hip abductions on our left side, 15 hip hip actions on our right side. So all that is, we're lowering and lifting our hips while we're holding a side plank. So we're abducting, we're taking our hips away from the floor and lowering them back down. So let's come on down to our elbow, left shoulder right over your left elbow. Feet can be staggered 
or you can have that bottom knee down. Lift those hips, we'll lower in three, two, here we go, 15. Ten. Three. Two. Last one. Whew. Let's flip it over, other side. So now we're gonna have our right elbow down, right shoulder right over that right elbow. Feet are either staggered or right knee is down. Lift those hips. Okay, we go in three, two, here we go, 15. Other side, hips, kiss the ground, and right back up. Last three, two, Last one. Yeah, we're gonna come on to a forearm plank now. So again, both shoulders right over those elbows. This time we're gonna do hip taps, 15 on each side. So we're gonna rotate our hips side to side. Okay, you might have to adjust those feet every once in a while. We're gonna begin in three, two, here we go. Get up on those toes, drop your hips to the right, to the left. Try to keep those hips as low as you can. Here's five, four, three, two, one more time each side, and lower down. You need to take those arms long. Okay. One more move. Okay. Two more moves, I guess. The last one we hold. This next one we do for reps. Okay, we're gonna be in a forearm plank. We're gonna do leg lifts. Like if you just tuned in for light and easy, we did these. We're just gonna alternate lifting our legs while we hold a plank. 15 each side, so we keep it even. All right, three, two, here we go. Lift, lift. Or if you're on your knees, Lift your knee. Hips are down, gaze towards the top of your mat or point in front of you. Three, two, one more time each side. Nice job, can you see that wind? Very windy. Last move, okay, this is it, and then we stretch it out. We have a bear crawl hold. So we're gonna be in tabletop position. Just lift those knees off the ground and then hold it. It's all in the plan. We hold for 30 seconds. We go on three, two, and hold right here. Here we go, shoulders over wrists, hips right over those knees. So you can, can't really tell, but my hips are off the ground, my back is flat, everything's in line with each other. We're just holding it. Halfway through, belly buns pulled in towards your spine away from the floor. Core is super tight. 10 seconds left, you might be feeling this in your quads a little bit. For three, two, nice job, drop those knees, send those hips back, child's pose. Take your right arm, spread the needle underneath your left arm. Temple rests on the ground. Underneath left armpit. Deep breaths. And right arm goes long. Right now let's spread that left arm under.
Good, let's flip it around. We're gonna go seated, figure four. So cross opposite ankle into opposite thigh. And let's switch. And let's finish with one big inhale. And exhale. Nice job, thank you for joining me. Um, if you're either watching this live or maybe you're watching it later, thanks for tuning in and participating in this workout. I hope you have a great rest of your day, your evening, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you all tomorrow for Walk for Fitness and Bar. So make sure you tune into those. You're going to be great. And see you later. Bye.